Alright folks, welcome to our 12 Days of Christmas presentation. I'm Hunter, and this is Rebecca, we're from the Family Showdown, and today we are presenting our top 12, 12 Days of Christmas, two-player games. Now we're not talking about strictly two-player games, we're talking about any player count, but it happens to play really well two-player. I'm going to start with the heavy games, she's going to start with some light games, we're going to meet somewhere in the middle. And all of these games are in print and available, so feel free to go shopping. So do you enjoy those Civilization games from yesteryear? Well, we got a game for you called Through the Ages, A New Story of Civilization. This is a civ building game with card drafting, hand management, resource building, attacking other players, all sorts of excitement, all wrapped into an epic Civilization game. This game plays more than two players, but we actually enjoy it with just two because it shortens the length of the game, makes the game length a little more manageable. This game can be long with more players. A perfect two-player game, especially for people who like those old video games. Going in the other direction, I would like to mention Lost Cities, the card game. This is a great card game where you are building up a set of cards and you are dealt a hand. You're trying to put your cards down in numerical order without skipping any, trying to build up the most points before the other player beats you to it. Lost Cities, the card game. I'm so horrible at that game. You know someone who enjoys heavy, complicated games? Well, the Tall Lacerda has a series of awesome games that are, in my opinion, very thematic. You have a number to choose from. My favorite is Venus. It comes in a deluxe edition with all sorts of bells and whistles. You can also get other games based on what theme you like. You can get car building. There's a new, brand new game coming out, Kanban Drivers Edition, which is a re-theming and remaking of an older version of Kanban. You can also get Lisboa, which is city building. All sorts of games looked into the tall Lacerda games if you're looking for a heavy game for a heavy gamer. Do you want to look for a game where you're collecting sets and it's two player look no further than Jaipur you've got to collect your sets and lay them out and it's strategic because there's only a certain number of bonus chips that you're going to get and so you want to try to beat the other player to getting all of those stack them up use your camels to get free goods it's a lot of fun love this little card game Jaipur Jaipur is a great introduction game gateway game for for your gamer in your life so moving on to my favorite game of all time War of the Ring 2nd Edition. If you have a Tolkien fan um, in your mitts, this is the game to get for them. This is an epic game, like I'm doing the heavier games. This, is, this one's got some complicated rules, but it's well worth learning this game. It has an epic feel. It is like you're retelling the story of the Lord of the Rings in a game. Awesome game, War of the Ring. Yes. Now, going in the opposite direction, would you like to have a trick-taking game that actually scales well? balances and is two player look no further than the fox in the forest this is a really great card game if you just want to sit down but you only have a couple people to play it's perfect and anyone that's ever played cards can pick it right up fox in the forest is a fantastic one so the new hotness in the euro game world is coimbra this game plays more than two players but i love it at two player it works great two player this is a dice rolling game where you're rolling dice you take those dice to draft cards you take those cards to do all sorts of fun things you're going up tracks you're getting secret objectives you're moving a little guy around on the map getting all sorts of bonus points all sorts of yuri point salady goodness coimbra going in the other direction how about making a quilt or maybe you know people that like to play Tetris. This game, Patchwork, or a quicker version, Patchwork Express, does just that. We're going and you're getting these Tetris-like pieces, and you're using buttons and different things, and time is a variable in this game as you're building a quilt. Did I mention winemaking earlier? Well, here we are with a smaller, easier brother to Vinos Deluxe, Viticulture Essentials. In this game, you are making wine. You're collecting grapes. You're aging the grapes. You're turning them to wine. You're selling that wine for victory points. I love this game. It comes with a few modular expansions in, in the box that you can trick up and play your game differently. And if you like it a lot, there is Tuscany Essentials, which blows it up into an epic game with tons and tons of modules and many different ways to play the game. This, game, this is a great game for those that like Euro games. And it has a little theme there going on, which makes this an awesome two-player game. And it plays well all the way up to the full player count. It scales at all players, but a great, great two-player game. Let's shift gears from winemaking to stained glass. 
going a little bit lighter, we have Sagrada. This is a puzzle game where you are trying to build this beautiful piece of stained glass using beautiful dice that you must roll and place in a certain pattern. Very heavy puzzle element, really fun to play two player, light, easy to teach. Let's go from stained glass to relationships with Fog of Love. Fog of Love is a great game to play two players. Put you in relationship situations, ask you all sorts of relationship type things. You're going to answer them in such a way. You have hidden objectives, hidden roles, hidden motivations that you're working through. It is a great game to introduce people to the hobby because it is fairly simple. It has an awesome learn as you go tutorial system, which is really cool, unique in gaming. I love Fog of Love. It is a great game. It is laugh out loud. You can dress up, you can play your role. Great, great two player game. Leaving relationships, let's go back to puzzles. And we've got the beautiful Azul. This is a tile laying game with these gorgeous patterned tiles that you need to place out on it, make a mosaic. But you have to lay it out in a certain way to maximize your points. And you get bonus points for laying them across vertically versus horizontally. And you also have the same pool of tiles as your opponent, so you will be vying for the same collection. So there you have it, 12 games that play great two-player of various weights, sizes, shapes. Hopefully you found one that'll fit your interests. So happy shopping, happy gaming, and happy holidays. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.